Keeping your equipment queen. <laughs> queen. <laughs> yes, Keep queen. Keep all your equipment queen. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to Pros with Peter. I'm Peter. Today, I wanted to talk about cleaning my kettle. I was already looking into doing this myself, and I figured, why not film it and see if I could help you guys clean your kettles, clean your stuff, make sure that you're brewing with quality equipment. I know I invested a good amount into this SS BrewTech kettle and I've been brewing now for a while with some nasty gunk on the bottom. Why am I wasting my time trying to produce the best quality product I can with a dirty kettle? I'm gonna clean my kettle today and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Hopefully this will help you get a better product when you're brewing as well. I'm using PBW at the higher concentration that's recommended, so probably about one and a half ounces per gallon. You can definitely use OxyClean too. I've always used PBW, I really like it, but it is a little bit more expensive, so. Uh, I'm gonna do a 180 degree soak with an ounce and a half per gallon, just on the bottom part of my kettle, uh, maybe a few gallons up, and let that soak for a half hour, and then scrub it, rinse it, and uh, if there's still some scum left, I'm gonna do spot treatment with Barkeeper's Friend. Barkeeper's Friend. Barkeeper's Friend is great for cleaning up stainless steel and you can even do a passivation with Barkeeper's Friend, but be careful of laser etched markings for gallons and measurements, because this will take that right off. So be careful with Barkeeper's Friend. So I'm gonna start here and then do this and then hopefully we'll have a beautiful clean kettle to work with and then we can passivate from there if we want. Passivation is a process that I don't know a ton about. I'm not a mad scientist, but uh, it is a technique to protect stainless steel from rust and you can do it by hitting a very, very clean container, stainless steel container like your kettle with uh, acid, certain types of acid. I know Star Sand sells a specific one and you can use citric acid or nitric acid, but if you soak your whole very, very clean kettle in that, it'll protect the stainless steel for a lot longer to come, and then it'll make cleaning easier in the future. So we'll work, we'll look into passivating uh, a little bit, but it's, a, it's another step that you do after your kettle is clean. All right, you could definitely add hot water to your kettle, but the easiest for, way for me to get a few gallons of water hot is in my kettle, so I'm just gonna add room temp water, and then heat it up like I normally would. All right, we're at just above 180 degrees, so I'm putting in some PBW. The PBW has been sitting here for a while, and with only a little bit of elbow grease, a bunch of the beer scum comes right off and we've got a much cleaner kettle than we had before. But there's still some dark spots at the bottom that need a little bit more special attention. So I'm gonna try Barkeeper's Friend on those with a spot cleaning, being careful not to get my edgings. All right, as you can see, it's a lot cleaner, but there's still some black marks down at the bottom of the kettle. So I'm gonna use Barkeeper's Friend, to try and get those out. So the barkeeper's friend has been sitting for a couple minutes. Just give a little elbow grease in the bottom, see how it clears up. That took a good bit of elbow grease and a second round of barkeeper's friend, but I'll let the results speak for themselves. This kettle is cleaner than it's been in well over a year. So it was totally worth it. I'm stoked to have it clean and I'll use probably some citric acid to passivate. Maybe I'll show you guys that in another video. I'm too tired right now to deal with that. So I'm gonna go sit down for a while, but definitely worth it. Definitely stoked with my results and it was not even too challenging. Keeping your brewing equipment clean is a crucial step. So definitely take some time put in the elbow grease, and keep your stuff clean. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching. Peace.